Hello and welcome to this course. First off, we are going to start by installing Flutter SDK on Windows and then there will be also a part about installing Flutter on Mac. So first, let's go to flutter.dev and once you are here at this URL, you want to click on Get Started. Now we are going to select Windows and we are going to actually follow along this uh, Windows install guide. We can see that they have some system requirements. I think that probably every single one of you should uh, fulfill these requirements because they're pretty low. Flutter does not need the power horse of a PC to develop in. And now we are getting to the interesting stuff, which is getting the Flutter SDK. You want to download this Flutter SDK by just clicking this button. It's going to download a zip file and you want to put it somewhere where you are later going to extract it. For me, that somewhere is a place called Flutter on local disk C on the main drive. So uh, there is a folder called Flutter and over there you want to download this zip file. I have already done that. Just wait until it downloads and you're going to be good to go. Now the next step, as it says here, is that you want to extract the zip file and place the contained Flutter in the desired location for the Flutter SDK. And since we have already downloaded uh, this zip file into a folder, which is created by us, not just into a classic download folder, but into an actual folder where you want to put that SDK, you can extract it right inside that folder where you have downloaded it. And by the way, for zip files, I recommend 7-zip. This zip file contains a single folder nested and you want to take this folder and drag it out of here. Wait until it extracts and you are going to be left with a Flutter folder right here. Now the next step here says that we want to locate FlutterCouncil.bat and start it by double clicking. We are actually not going to do that because we are going to go to the next step, which is updating our path. And path is used so that we can call Flutter commands from anywhere in the system. So no matter in which folder you open your command prompt, you can still run Flutter commands, which is pretty important because we are going to be creating projects, Flutter projects all over the place and not just in this Flutter folder on the C drive. To update the path, you want to start search bar and type env as it writes here which stands for environment. So edit the system environment variables. Once you're here, you want to edit environment variables. And here is one important uh, variable called path. You want to edit that. And by the way, if you do not have a path, you want to create a new variable, call it path, and then uh, paste the value, which I'm going to be pasting in the editing of the path right inside variable value here. So, but if you have path, if you are a developer, you probably have path from our development environments and from other things. So we just want to edit it if you have it. I already have this C flutter flutter bin. I'm just going to delete it for demonstration purposes. And you want to create new and the path is path to the flutter slash bin folder. In our case, the flutter slash bin folder is located under C, Flutter with capital F, Flutter with lowercase f, and bin. So just copy this and we're going to paste it as a new path here. Now hit OK and the path is saved. By doing this, we can open up any old console and we are going to be able to run Flutter Doctor Flutter Doctor is a tool which will tell you what you have or what you have not set up properly in order to Flutter to be able to run and build projects, which is a pretty cool feature of Flutter that it immediately tells you what you have wrong set up on your system. So let's go to CMD and we're going to run Flutter Doctor and we're going to be left with an output saying that we have 
Flutter channel stable version 1.2.1 and by the way this course will work completely fine with any kind of Flutter version because Flutter is now stable so there will not be any breaking changes and then it says that we do have Android toolchain which you will probably not have because we have if you are not already an Android developer because we have not yet set up Android so you will have a red cross here next to Android toolchain you probably won't have even Android Studio unless you are an Android developer as I've already said and you're probably not going to have VS Code but you should have this green check mark alongside Flutter channel stable. So now we know that the path is set up properly because we can call Flutter Doctor from any kind of a place in our system and let's move on to setting up Android.